When the new town hall was first open, Wokingham was administered by an unelected corporation consisting of an alderman and some seven burgesses. This room was a meeting place for the Wokingham Corporation. Today it's used for meetings and events. It's divided into the main hall by large wooden sliding doors and it has a separate stone fireplace. The key feature of this room is that it's one of the town's three official war memorials. This war memorial, constructed in English oak, was unveiled on the 10th of February 1924 by Admiral Sir Doverton Sturdy to commemorate Wokingham men who had fallen in the First World War. The inset panels are inscribed with the names of the fallen soldiers. Later, the names of those soldiers who lost their lives in the Second World War and the Falklands War were also added. Councillor H.C. Milne, the then Mayor, took the initiative to raise funds to build this memorial. The wreath stand was added in 2007 and was designed and built by a local craftsman, Mr. Trevor Otlewski. Each Remembrance Sunday, the town mayor, mayoral party, dignitaries and a number of organisations assemble in the town hall after parading from church for a wreath-laying ceremony around the war memorial. If you'd like to view the memorial, please visit our information centre where a member of our staff will be pleased to help you. www.wokinghamremembers.com can also offer some specific information about individuals named. This large framed list of names in this room here is of those men who volunteered for service in the 4th Territorial Force Battalion of the Royal Berkshire Regiment before the 1914-18 war. It formerly hung in the Drill Hall in Denmark Street where all dances and balls used to take place. They took place there because this was the biggest hall in Wokingham. Then the hall moved and the list disappeared until one day in 1995 the Town Council received a phone call from Slough Military Barracks to say, we've got something of yours, would you like the framed list back again? It was subsequently returned to Wokingham where it was restored and was hung here. Also on the wall is a replica of HMS Garth's badge. The people of the district of Wokingham were asked to save a minimum of £400,000 during Wokingham Warship Week for the construction and equipping of one Hunt class Type 1 destroyer. They rose to the challenge and by February 1942, by means of war bonds, auctions, whist drives, concerts and bring and buy sales, the amount collected was £480,634. As a reward, the people were given the honour of adopting an existing destroyer and they chose HMS Garth because of the Garth Hunt which was founded in Arborfield in 1852. The Hunt used to meet outside the Town Hall on every Christmas Eve. The Mayor in turn presented the Captain with a plaque made of Windsor Forest Oak and carved by His Majesty's Carver at Windsor. <laughs>